Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Top 2 Watching Figure Review. Today I am reviewing the Destiny of the Daleks set. So uh, first I'll just take a look at the packaging. Okay, so if I turn my camera up. As we can see a picture of Tom Baker. Right, the uh, David Goodison and Davros, the old Doctor Who logo, Destiny of the Galaxy collector set, and a picture of two Daleks, $34.99, and uh, I bought this in London. So, another picture of the fourth Doctor holding one of the bombs. Davros and Dalek Dalek and a lot of information about the stories you've had time to pause it and you've had time to pause it uh, just for information about the removable panel what the set contains then put you on the fourth dot gun not sure you can see this I'm filming this at night arrows and uh, the set so I'll just start off with the fourth doctor has played by Tom Baker So uh, if I just take the scarf off, uh, this isn't how the scarf came in the packaging, uh, I've just decided to hang it on because as many people know, almost everyone on this, we were just given a crap scarf, which is not designed for this figure whatsoever. I, if I just take... Uh, Head off mine. I don't know if you can you can see uh, the collar is straight now. Now when I first got this, uh, the scarf was sort of on the side like that, and it was pushing the collar all over the place. So what I did was I used the end of a spoon and uh, touched that up. Oh, but otherwise uh, the head would not fit on and I've accidentally made it half how I did before so I'll just grab this and push it back now I'll just this is so awkward and difficult to get sussed. Want to do it? It's it's fine. And I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. So uh, also the lapels are supposed to be popped up because the scarf will hang under the hem. But no, it's the same pyramids of Mars one, same articulation apart from her. Yeah, where there is. That's what we're going to. There's still the articulation. And 360. That's his boots. So I'll just give you a look at the boots. I just zoom in. Uh, by the way, I'm still getting used to using this new c camera, so please bear with me. Oh, wow, I get this sussed. It's got a bit blurry. Hey, but you've got the boots. I basically say spare pen there. 
but they're nice boots set. They're not the same as the uh, 1980s fourth copter boots. The colour is different, and they have a different sculpt as well. But they're nicely done. Done as well. The shirt. This is new. The shirt. I just take it out of the now the shirt is a new sculpt you can see that where they've sculpted in the waistcoat but again they haven't painted it um, I like the way they've done the shirt up here here, which is very nice and very accurate and uh, they'll probably use this again paint the coat in the wine splashed purple coat from Pyramids of Mars I mean I I like this coat it's one of my favorite coats I mean the, you've got the pockets here with the black rim around did um what I was hoping they'd do is give it a bit more, a slight texture to it, rather than just being uh, all smooth. They they haven't, but you've got the, the black on the top and that. So you know, I re I like this figure, but they could have made it better. I mean the head the head is still the same same and uh, so that's that now on to that now Davros is a bit interesting I'll start off with uh, the accessory. Oh, by the way, he does come with a sonic screwdriver. I just haven't bothered taking it out of the box. So this is a uh, sort of battle computer thing. Just for three bits. Again, it, it doesn't... Since they've used the same sculpt, it just doesn't clip onto anything. It, it can just sit. But it sits quite well. I mean, this is, this is really nice, it's, it's for the, so you are getting something that, nice, I mean, last time you got a baby da, Dalek Mutant, and, and, hey, uh, ooh, I can't find it, and I, you know, I didn't know if the Tom Baker would come with the Sonic Screwdriver, but he still does. So, on, on to the David Goodison Davros. So, this is uh, the exact same sculpt as the Michael Wisher. A variant. So, I'm just going to do are comparing it to the Michael Wisher and Davros. Now you can see the skin tone is a lot darker. A lot, lot darker, but... Uh, and they've added in black around bits of uh, the mask. But this does work... Works so, though. I mean, if I just put him back, come off. 
Focus! I hate it when cameras never want to focus. Yes, but the face, um, it does highlight, okay, so uh, here are the two Daleks out of the Gascony set. So uh, I'll just start with this one. Same articulation, 360. At the head. Up, down, at eye stalk. Ball jointed plunger. And down. Now, unfortunately, on these ones, they have gone back to using four ri ring, th five rings, or discs, whatever, when it really should be four. And uh, I said the same on my Revelation set. So anyway... What they basically done is used the old Genesis garlic. Now comparing these ones, these are obviously a lot, lot, lot lighter. Now what I'm glad they didn't do with these is put scratches on them, mack up paintwork and stuff. Have bits of solitude here and there. Yeah, so I'm glad they didn't do that. However, what I am a bit disappointed about is about this garlic. And it's just this one in particular. None of the others at all. So if I just bring the box. Down here now, Max. Quite a dark. Kish paint job. Um, compared to this one, because in the story, uh, this garlic, which was the only one without black slacks, was a slightly, slightly darker colour. Just by a drop. I want tiny bit. Unfortunately, they haven't done that. But you know, I'm not too fussed about that. Uh, again, they've given it the new dome lights. Again, painted white. Also, uh, it's painted in the correct glossy colour. So that's good that they've done that and put a bit of money into it. And next garlic. Is this one has the black slats or solar panels and the black trim around here? And uh, the rest of it is exactly the same articulation in that. Oh, yeah, the difference is with the fender, it's that double thing there again. This one is grey and black, and this one is just totally black, but in two bits. But you know, I like these two garlics, they're very not They're very nice to have in my uh, collection. Although... That looks more like now a Supreme Darling. And then just another one of these. So I don't think I'll ever use these types of Daleks with these. Because it, it just looks nonsense. Really. Um, the Daleks now seem to have quite 
rubbery guns for some reason. Not quite sure why that is or why that may be. But you know, wrong Davros. But you know, they look good next to a next to Davros. That as well. I think my camera's just lost its focus again. Maybe, maybe not. There we go. Uh, going on to Davros. It is the exact same sculpt as Michael Wisher. Except now they've added in in uh, black highlights which really bring out the sculpt a lot better than on this one and uh, the colour of Davros's skin is a lot 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 darker again this time they have given both of his wi wires um, red X uh, a totally different coloured red it wasn't on Terry Malloy it's not on Michael Wisher either. It's a new red. That's a bit different. Also, the eye should be a lot circular. Because it's a proper circle. But anyway, it's good. Okay, the microphone. Because here is no completely black apart from the little silver bit at the end it is uh, the same microphone just painted differently and the switches that are red on here are slightly darker only by a drop you can't tell it so much on camera but you can't really learn. Uh, the switches here are now the green that they are and then being a sort of lime yellow colour and all the uh, buttons and things there pretty much all the same on both of them except now you've got a sort of peach lice things on here rather than having yellow but they cover up the screw so that's nice Onto his chair. On here, it doesn't look too bad, it doesn't look grey. But it is actually grey. Now, on here, it does look black on this camera, but this is just because I'm filming this at night. But they painted his chair grey. I mean, if I compare it to where. Uh, Michael Wisher, there's the difference. And that is just normal black, and this is grey. So you see, um, the base, however, you may or may not be able to tell. You see, it's been given. They've. Obviously, um, paying to get the silver, they just put a grey wash, a blackish grey wash over the top, or they've done it the other way around. And uh, it still has the removable panel, which is, it's here, I guess, the same. 
rather than they've just left it grey they haven't bothered putting the silver on but at least got on my one And uh, again, he comes with his battle computer, and it doesn't clip onto anything because they're using the same slot gig six. And then the proto, I was a bit worried when I saw the prototype because it had this Dalek just uh, on the end of the sucker like that, and I was worried it will be actually attached to the sucker so whenever you you're playing with it you would have this massive thing at the end but no i'm glad of that also if you want the dark to be uh, carrying it just put a bit of blue tack on either the dalek sucker or the battle computer and that'll be fine unlike the baby dalek mutant that was um, in featured in sex includes, it is not on this one. And um, don't know why, really. I guess it is more of an accessory rather than a character. It is an accessory, like uh, the fourth Doctor Sonic screwdriver. But this set is worth it. It's worth buying it. And I got this one from London. London because, well, I was just getting London at the time and I found the Forbidden Planet. Then I thought, why not go here? Yeah, rather than wait all the way. Um, also, um, I said on an update that this was for my birthday and I wasn't allowed it. Well, as soon as I got home, well, my grandma, who uh, got me this, said you might as well have it now. Because I ran it up. And she said, you might as well. Well, having it now. But, uh, if, you know, if it's a choice between this and the Genesis set, get the Genesis set first, because that one is much, much better. I just like that one more. I'm a bigger fan of Genesis than Destiny. E Destiny, you know, uh, it's not. It's probably one of my least favorite Dalek stories. My favourite one is Genesis. Yes, but you know, meh. And I'll see you next time.